world. Jail of Walker. Scared. Thinking that the prisoners had escaped. Grabbed his sword. Started to kill himself. But God spared his life through some committed men. Paul said, now listen, don't, don't, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. I tell you, it's, it, it, it's amazing what God will do for a life that is committed to him. But it seems today that, that we are living in an age when, when, when Many folk really don't know as to what God they'll serve. We, we have a God for Sunday morning and another one for Sunday evening. Come, come on here. I, I tell you, there's some God switching going on. We don't know who we're going to serve. Our Monday God yeah. is different from our Sunday God. Yeah. Our Tuesday God yeah. might be a little different from our Wednesday night God. Yeah. Oh, we'll go to a club on Tuesday night. But I ain't got time for prayer meeting on Wednesday night. God switching. What's going on? Amen. They, they shout on Jesus paid it all. <laughs> but falls asleep on all to him I owe. Come on now. Did they fall asleep in a minute? They profess to have Jesus Christ but they don't possess. Amen. Now, that, that's a difference, you see. Anybody can talk about how good God is. Anybody can talk about his grace, his mercy, his love, his compassion. But oh, what about living some of it? The Christianity is not lip service. It's a life that we've got to live now. If you want to see Jesus, you got to live the life. Now. Nobody gets to heaven anyhow. Come on now. If we sing that old song, I'm on my way to heaven anyhow. We act as though we have our shoes already picked out. Our robe already selected. Our house is already made. And we'll even say, when you, if you beat me there, save a seat for me. <laughs> but I'm on my way to heaven anyhow. Regardless to what the word says, I'm on my way to heaven. Well, don't you fool yourself. There is a life that has to be lived. Isn't that right? But any time, any time you commit your life to Jesus Christ and troubles come in your life. Now, all of us are familiar with troubles and they're going to come. But if you call on him, you will discover that he's always available. Matters not what time of night it is. It was at midnight. He was available when Paul and Silas called him. He's always accessible. They could reach him from the jailhouse. And he's always able to handle your situation. But now, I must admit, 
the, the, the jail houses are, are not usually associated with prayer and praise. Amen. Come on, I've got a witness. You, you don't get up on Sunday morning, dress up in your fine clothes, go down to the jail house, <laughs> seeking prayer and praise. You come to church. I've got a witness yet. Well, in the jail house. If you pray, God will hear you. Matters not what your circumstances might be. Matters not where you are. God will come to see about you. Amen. And I, that's, what makes, that's what makes it so sweet. You know, I, I was in the hospital. He came to see about me. And some of those folk in jail called him. And he came to see about them. Whatever your circumstance might be, Jesus will come to see about you. Have I got a witness here? Well, now, the backdrop of this text was a vision that Paul had over in the night. It was a heavenly vision uh, with an earthly man crying for help. Come over in Macedonia and help us. And when Paul I was convinced that it was the Lord calling him. He went on to Macedonia. Have I got a witness there? Couldn't find no men nowhere. But he found some women praying by the riverside. Luke says in one day, as we were on our way to pray, a little damsel followed us and began to tell the truth. These men are mighty men. They are telling us about the most high God. Well, they were telling the truth. But God don't need the devil ah, to, to patronize his name. Paul became, and, and my brothers and sisters, you better watch those attachments. This lady trying to attach herself to the people of God. You better watch those attachments. For the devil is always trying to attach himself to the people of God. He'll come on in the church and start trouble in the pulpit. Tie up the choir. Wreck the usher board. Simply because of um, an attachment. Isn't that right? But don't let the devil in. But if you let him ride, he'll want to drive. Isn't that right? You better watch those attachments. This made him, made him plenty money. Far.